Well, we've been married for 23, 23 years. years. We met at a youth, youth club, club dance. dance. Yeah, she was the prettiest, prettiest girl, girl there. Um, <laughs> and he was wearing his dad's, dad's shirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Janet's the managing, managing director of a very well-known retail outlet in Loughborough. I mean, I mean not, not the managing director, director of the whole company, company just the manager of one of the, one of the branches. branches. But, but a very, very good, good living, living nonetheless. nonetheless. And Clive's a Nazi, Nazi sympathiser. <laughs> Uh, we went to Barbados for our... The Bahamas. Uh, and that was, what, five? Twelve. Twelve. Yes, God. Time has flown by, hasn't it, Soph? Helen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some people find it a bit odd, the idea of two couples living together. But, you know, we love it. Yeah. I mean, it's so much cheaper and you don't get bored of spending all your time with just one other person. <laughs> but plus, we've known each other for years, so there's no jealousy, you know. I mean, some people say, have you ever been tempted to swap partners? We think, no, that'd be really weird. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really it's wrong. Yeah, it'd be horrible. <laughs> really weird. <laughs> Meeting Mike's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, shut up. It is, that he knows it is. Well, I suppose so. I think when you've got a... Oh. <laughs> we moved in together within what? Um, Two weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. Oh, we just do everything together, don't we? Cooking, shopping. Gym. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and the weird thing is, neither of us is gay. Well, we um, met at school and started going out and never looked back. Obviously, I was fired for that. Mm. <laughs> um, well, we met at university, uh, so we've been together 20 years. And in that time, I don't think we've spent a single night apart. I've got absolutely no idea who she is. Sorry. <laughs> Came out of the blue. One moment I was walking through the old quarter of Dubrovnik, reconciling myself to lifelong bachelorhood, you know, sheds and slipper style, like Uncle Tony. <laughs> and the next moment I've spotted this one. And we have fallen instantly in love. It was sort of a primal thing, I suppose. And the fact that she doesn't speak English and I don't speak her language uh, has made it all the more magical. Just a wonderful, wonderful fairy tale. Help me. <laughs> She's now learning English. Yeah, I mean, I, I suppose it is a bit weird, but, you know, we just all really get on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I get on great with Chris. Um, I have no problem whatsoever with the whole Fiona thing. And, um, you know, Fiona gets on great with Hermione. So. Who's Hermione? <laughs> yeah, so there is a part of me that wonders quite how I've ended up in this situation. Um, running an organic soup company with the bloke who killed my mum. We also make porridge. I really have got a tremendously fat bottom. When I brush my teeth and I'm in the nude, my bottom wobbles. I mean, it really does. It, it really wobbles. But fortunately, Jeremy's not a big fan of a firm bottom. Are you, Jeremy? Uh, no. no. <laughs> Love only lasts three months. It's a medical fact. Yeah, because of too much chemicals. Or not enough? Well, in... Because of an imbalance. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a disorder, yeah. isn't it? That eventually... that eventually becomes order. Yeah. Um... So, so, I mean, this, you know, this is perfectly normal. Yeah, it's normal to be like this. It's inevitable. Your hand's on my leg. Sorry. Right. <laughs> 